Teachers and other public office workers may be required to take a loyalty oath similar to that for civil servants. Details are still being worked out. Johanna Chan has more. Those serving in public office, such as government-funded organizations and schools, may have to swear allegiance to Hong Kong. Chief Executive Carrie Lam said different approaches are being considered on who to include for oath-taking. Because Hong Kong's uh, legislation, uh, as far as public office, is, uh, is pretty, I would say, pretty loose and wide. One is, of course, uh, that position has to be a statutory position. Okay? The other is that position may have some relationship with the government in terms of um, um, funding. It's a, a government-funded institution. Or maybe that is uh, a public office that discharges um, public powers. But we have not decided. On a phone-in program, Civil Service Secretary Patrick Nip said there are no clear rules on what constitutes a breach of the civil service oath. He said civil servants may express views on government policies, but must be wary of any conflict with their role as administration staff. Nip had earlier said civil servants are responsible for upholding the basic law. Following the policy address, he said civil servants will sign their oaths altogether, rather than in batches, but details and exact dates have yet to be announced. Johanna Chan, HKIBC.